Today we're mostly driving the Genesis GV60. And we're going to give you a quick overview of the car and what it can do, but if you really want to get under the hood, go and check out the full review at selectcarleasing.co.uk. It's a premium luxury SUV and I'm a big fan of it already. Let's have a quick look around because the first thing that stands out for me is these split LED headlights, which I think look really good, really flush, and definitely gonna help with the aerodynamics. We'll move on around here to the wing mirrors. These come in the standard, as you'd expect, type of wing mirror, but you can also get them with a clever little mirror and camera setup. It's similar to the Honda E, where you have a camera which actually projects what's going on behind you onto a little monitor on the inside, which can take a bit of getting used to, but once you do, it's a nice gimmick. Let's talk about the wheels, because these remind me very much of Chariots of Fire. Not a bad thing. I think Zorro's been here as well. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It does look a little bit like an old 911, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, you've also got these split LED brake lights at the back, similar to the front, and a fairly understated back of the car, apart from that big Genesis sign. And there are cameras everywhere, all around this car, which makes driving an absolute doddle. So remember, instead of putting dirty, smelly petrol in, you can put lovely, powerful, clean electricity right in there. Happy days. So there you go. What's not to like? And if you like the outside, you'll love the interior. Unless you've got small children, because this colour is going to get quite grubby quite quickly. Although black is also available. The only other thing I will say about this car is that the Isofix is a little bit tricky to get the child seats in. Other than that, the kids loved it, especially the cup holders. So if you're one of those people that lose your keys, a bit like our cameraman, you might need a new feature that Genesis have put on their cars. It's called facial recognition. So you just put your face in there, opens up the car for you, you don't need this anymore. But this model doesn't have that, so I am going to need this. Now, the Genesis GV60 is the first of its kind to come with a boost button. And who wouldn't want that? So the big question, have Genesis put in a front to utilise all that lovely space left over by the lack of an engine? Yes. But it's tiny! Just enough room for Tyrone, the little drone, Squawky, the walkie-talkie, and probably 10 bananas. Better than nothing though. We were blown away by the acceleration of the GV60. With the magical boost button switched on, the Sport Plus mode manages 0 to 62 miles per hour in four seconds. The premium trim can go the furthest with a range of 321 miles. If you can find an ultra rapid 350 kilowatt charger, the GV60 can juice up from 10 to 80% in around 18 minutes. The boot space is decent at 432 litres, a bit less than its siblings, the Kia EV6 at 490 litres and the Hyundai Ioniq at 527 litres. There are not many cars, in my opinion, that can take the title from Tesla, but the GV60 is a serious contender. The matte grey finish with black interior is my dream combo because white interior with kids is asking for trouble. It's a practical, spacious, luxurious car, handles well and goes like the proverbial off a shovel. But if you're wary of this relatively new kid on the block, take solace in the fact it's from the very dependable and highly decorated Hyundai and Kia family. But if you're not a Genesis fan, fear not, there are plenty of other EVs out there. Just head over to selectcarleasing.co.uk and remember to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our latest car content.